What's up, people? It's your boy Leverhead back with another video. This is an on the go video, even though I am stationary. But I want to talk real quick about something that got my attention, and I want to drop it in y'all thoughts and get y'all opinion on it as well. So y'all know when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, it's around the corner, January 12th, we will be uh, getting the full reveal of the Switch, right? So it's not much longer before we see it in its full totality, and then not much longer after that we'll have it ourselves. But my concern has always been, the only thing that I'm worrying about, that I always was concerned about with the Switch, is capability, power. You know what I'm saying? Uh, from the standpoint of development outside of Nintendo's in-house developers. Meaning, is there gonna be enough there to attract third party? Now, I talked about this yesterday, but I'm not talking about third party today. I'm talking about something that is making me feel very confident about this platform. But Nintendo's problem has always been not doing enough to attract third party or doing something uh, that turns third party off. You know, uh, we've we seen it with the GameCube. Uh, the Wii was just a phenomenon, the Wii U with the GamePad. The GameCube was, you know, the mini disc. Uh, the N64 was sticking with cartridge. You know, they always did something they gave third party a way out, a way to say no, right? Now we have the switch. But what I'm learning is that what's, what's really getting my attention is the CEO of NVIDIA, Jin Huang. I think that's how you say it. Jin Huang, H-U-A-N-G, Huang, uh, has been speaking candidly about the architecture inside of the switch. Now, we all know that NVIDIA is responsible for the tech inside of the Switch. Uh, they were, they won the, uh, the, the, the right to, you know, they won Nintendo over to, and I don't even think, I don't even know if we can say they won. I think Nintendo went to them and asked them to do it, told them what they wanted to do. So I wouldn't even say it was a win, Nintendo chose them. And the reason I believe that they chose them is because of the direction that Nintendo was going, NVIDIA made more sense than AMD. But it was something Jen said in an interview with IGN. He's been interviewing all over the place. And I caught this in reading it. Uh, that really stuck out to me. He said when the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One or the 8th gen was coming into play, they pretty much were not in play because of x86 architecture, the CPU, the x86, they didn't have that. They didn't run based around that. They, they whole um, direction was not x86 based. So they were not a realistic consideration when it came to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And I, and I thought about that. that, that was intriguing to me. So as he kept talking, he, was, he basically went, but when Nintendo approached us about their idea, he says 100 man hours went into the design of the Switch. Now we all know that NVIDIA kind of stopped doing their gaming device, the Shield, and went kind of quiet. Dormant. Now, the rumors was out there that they had teamed up with Nintendo, and a lot of us didn't believe it. We thought they were going to go with AD, AMD because of the third win that was still out there that no one knew what it was. But this is what's giving me confidence that Nintendo has made the right move and Nintendo is thinking right this time. We know that Nintendo typically takes inferior tech and some kind of way they construct something that's works for them, they're able to squeeze out great games, great uh, looking games from very inferior hardware, but it's just not attractive 
to third party. Look at the Wii. Nintendo is able to squeeze out some very great looking games for the time out of the Wii, even though third party couldn't do the same. Like you look at Galaxy, Galaxy still stands up to, in, on a SDR, standard definition system, stands up to a lot of the HD counterparts on the Xbox 360 and the, play, and the PlayStation 3. Nintendo is capable of doing that, but third party is not going to do that. They want ease. They want quick. They want to be able to throw a mother load, <coughs> excuse me, at the thing, and it does what they needed to do. Now, I'm not a tech head, but I know that much. So as I hear Jim brag and boast about the Switch and what it can do, he even went as far as to say PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, anything done on those systems can be ported and done on the Switch because of the architecture, because of what's in the hood. The way that we designed it is for ease. So it doesn't, there is no excuse. Anything they can do over there can be done or brought over to the Switch. And it's his, now we can say, oh, well, since they made the architect today, of course they're going to boast and brag about it. Not so fast. <clears throat> because Nintendo could have easily asked for some cheap stuff that NVIDIA knew would not be comparable or compete or probably wouldn't look good <clears throat> on their part. They could have done what Nintendo wanted them to do and got the money and not say anything about it and let Nintendo do all the talking as Nintendo has always done. No one has really ever came out and talked about the architecture inside of a Nintendo device outside of Nintendo for the most part. With the Wii U, you saw Iwata talking about the GP, GPU. You didn't see other folks talking about it. You saw them talking about it because it was custom to them. It was something they designed, <clears throat> something they put together, and it worked for them. But it did work for third party. It wasn't attractive. Plus you had the dual screen with the game pad, just wasn't attractive. So there was no one outside of Nintendo boasting about the architecture inside of the Wii U, the Wii, maybe the GameCube, because the GameCube was a beast, and maybe the 64. But we have a CEO of a company boasting about what the Switch can do and, and standing out and saying that it's going to do amazing things. And we haven't really seen the have. We really don't know. And uh, we're going to be amazed by this system. This is the CEO of NVIDIA. Now, <clears throat> Go back to what I said with the x86 architecture and them not being in a real position to win any of the other two companies because that's the direction they wanted to go. Well, with the Switch, NVIDIA might be trying to position themselves to be more compatible the next time around to win over people back to them side. This is a partnership. This is not Nintendo just buying stuff from NVIDIA. No, this sounds like the NVIDIA and Nintendo are partnering up. <laughs> so this is just as much as a showpiece for NVIDIA as it is a, a new direction for Nintendo. NVIDIA can leverage this to get other companies interested in them and their hardware or their architecture or their tech or their chips, whatever. So this seems to be, there seems to be more going on here than just a company buying a design or whatever from another company. This seems like NVIDIA is just as invested in the success of the Switch as Nintendo is. So, if they're that invested, it makes you wonder how capable is the architecture in the Switch? What can this thing do? Because there are still unknowns that they say there's still more to be shared about the Switch. And this is coming from the CEO of NVIDIA. This ain't Nintendo. Nintendo has said little. We have heard more from NVIDIA than Nintendo. And there's a reason because, like I said, this can be a, a platform used to win other companies over to NVIDIA. 
they can leverage this. So they had to put, if they're going to leverage it, they had to put something there that's very powerful, very capable. Maybe not the most powerful, powerful, but for a handheld uh, dock station that turns into a handheld, this might be something very, very mind-blowing, and I'm excited. So let me get your thoughts on that. That's all I got to say, folks. This is another level on the go. Make sure you stay tuned for the podcast tonight, Live and Level Gamers podcast. Yes, folks, fulleffectgamer.com. Make sure you go over there and check it out. Till next time, folks, it's your boy, Level Head Deuces.